Welcome back to another episode of Golf N. You might think, what are these two loons doing here, sat on the edge of this bunker? And uh, I'll tell you why. It's because this video is going to try and give you a few tips on uh, how to improve your bunker game and make sure you get out first time. Yeah, that's definitely one of my problems, getting out first time. As a high handicapper, it can really devastate a score. If, you know, sometimes your head falls off and you're three, four, and you're still in that bunker. We've seen it before, oh, me, aye. our mates. Yep. It has happened and we want to avoid that at all costs. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get to it. Let's get in. Woo. Okay, so tip number one. How would you address that ball? The same as any other shot. See, yeah, that's wrong. That is literally it. That is wrong. You might come up to this and just step up, just like a normal wedge shot, and that's not right. What I want you to do, feet wider apart, get in there, touch, make sure them knees are bent, weight on the on the left leg. What's the, the purpose of the knees dropping much more than a normal shot? Because I think you're going under the ball. I, I feel like I want to be lower because I'm, I want to be underneath yeah, the ball. Yeah, you're not like trying I'm, to make I'm, contact with yeah. the ball as normal. Like I'm not trying to nick this off the top, I'm actually trying to hit it sort of an inch behind. Yep. And I just feel like with this weight being here, I mean, he's being lower, as I come to the top, all it is is sort of a release down and just it'll flick over. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I, if I come in and under there, obviously I don't want to be too far back, then I'm catching it fat. Yeah. But I just feel like being like this, feet apart, wider than you'd actually imagine, you might get in here and it might be uncomfortable for you. Yeah. But this is just like the norm now for me. And when I'm down, my hands are dropped, faces facing away to the right. Well, yeah, to the right, my left, my feet, I way left the target. Yep. So come and stand in them. I feel like Dan Grieve. Nice and wide. Yep. So you've got Dropping to get low knees. now to yep. get to that ball. And 60% leaning. I'd say maybe even that. a touch more than 60. Yeah. Like you want most of like majority of your weight to be that left side. Yeah. Is that like a, a decent think, position? Yeah. What, what I don't really want is your hands to be forward. That's like, see how it's straight? Right, okay. camera might be able to pick up. You're nice and straight there, Dan. That's what, that's what you want, more I like generally that. want. Yeah, I won't want sort of this leading edge okay, to be in and like your hands to, to be in front. More like that? Yeah. Because it'll feel weird for you at first. Yeah. All right. So that's so. a quick little short tip for you. And it's just the way you address the ball. Get positioned correctly. Tip number two is going to be contact. And obviously, I think Post said before, he just steps up and plays it like a normal wedge shot. And that's not right. So a quick little tip that you can't, obviously can't do it in an actual game of golf. But if you're just practicing, just draw a circle. And you'll see sort of a platform here in the middle. So where this line is, where this start of the sort of the inside yeah, yeah, is, yeah. that's sort of the, like the point of contact that I want you to be making. So I don't want it to be back here. I don't want it to be where the ball is. So say the ball's in the middle. I don't want it to be here. I want it to be on that line. So when you're coming through, you know, you're getting a lot, enough of the sand. Yeah, so yeah, you're not yeah. thinning it and not too much sand. So you're fatting it. So I'll tell you what, go without the ball. And you have a practice in there. Still dress it the way you would, like we've just, we've just talked about. And just see what you think feels different Yeah, so you're going to be more like that, and then rather than obviously striking the ball clean, you're going to be aiming to hit, what's that, yeah. an inch or two behind the ball? Maybe an inch, yeah. Yeah, and that the idea of that is to splash it out rather than obviously yeah. making clean contact in it, Sending spinning it, yeah. straight over the top of it, yeah, makes sense. That's back. And that's perfect. You get that splash, you get that contact, you, cannot, you can almost, yeah. you can feel it, and I can hear it, it's like really you can, you can tell. Flick through there yeah. rather than a normal And that's what shot. it is, yeah. that's how it pops up. You don't get a fat shot, you don't get a thin shot. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you might catch it a touch heavy, but it's still going to get out. For me, it's just getting out. Yeah, yeah. I'm and even... I think that, that's going to be the main topic of this video, which is getting out of the bunker. Yeah. And I think if you can just nail down that sort of technique, you'll see them just pop out with yeah. ease. So this third and final tip is just going to be sort of how you're finishing. Like you're not finishing up here. What are you going to be doing? Because you've come up and you've made the contact behind the ball. All you're going to be doing is just, as you're coming down, you're just rotating the body. 
and that's where your acceleration will come from. Yep. So it's important that you accelerate through because if you don't, you'll end up sort of bringing the leading edge back into play yep. and you'll fat it and it'll stay in the bunker and that's where obviously the shots rack up and that's what we're trying to lower. So I think that's something I'm guilty of, not just in bunkers, but even chipping around yeah. the greens. As soon as I made that contact, I kind of stop. Yeah. Don't finish the shot and then anything can happen at that point. I'd say you're not the, the only guilty person of that. And obviously I still do it when you're trying to be too cute on shots yeah, or yeah, yeah. you'll you know you'll come in and you'll and that's obviously a fact because yeah. I'm trying to stop here. And all, all, all well the main purpose of this video is I want you getting out of the bunkers. I don't want you trying to stiff it two foot because I yeah, don't yeah. even do that. Yeah. Like what we what we're aiming for is a nice full swing which is being sort of rotated through for your acceleration to come out of the bunker. So one thing I'd want to clarify for myself as a high handicapper is does this technique, does everything we've talked about today apply to every single bunker around the course? No, obviously you have fairway bunkers. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're trying to work a 60 degree like this, when you're 120 out, it's, you're not going to go nowhere. So the idea like isn't is, actually to this pop is it just out. Popping, this is just popping out. Yeah. This isn't what you do in a fairway bunker, yeah. so yeah. This is just more around the greens. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Most, to make sure that it's nothing yeah. disastrous. Obviously, there's going to be the extremes where you're going to have, say, you could be back here. You're not going to do that swing because this is a, yeah, you'd yeah. have to get a lot steeper. Yeah. But for the majority of bunker shots that you'll probably face on a round of golf, this is ideal to just pop it out. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Now it's time to put them tips into action. Let's see if he can get it first time. But like we said at the start of the video, it's not about where it finishes up. As long as it's on the green and it's out the bunker. Out the bunker. I think are the main, the main objectives here. Oh, it's a touch big, a bit clean, but yeah, too it's much out. Ball. It's just stayed on the back there as well. Oh, that's it's too out, fat. but it's out, and it's one quite a big lip on a fat. bunker. Yeah, it but is. it's out. Okay, it's not perfect, but like we said, it's out. Come on, last one. One thin, one fat. Let's have one right. Again, it's a good shot. And you know what the difference was then? You looked like you was further back than the first yeah, two. Yeah. I know you're still feeling it, but you did look like you was further back. Do you know, what, even though it didn't sound amazing. Looking at where it's gone, it's what it's, it's 15 20 foot. Right, so, post has had a few, and I'll have a few now. I'll show you how it's done. So, we're addressing it, we're nice and wide, we're down. Weight is sort of 70 footer, maybe 60 footer. Shaft is straight down. I'm gonna come up, drop, and sort of rotate through, It'll giving me acceleration. we're out. Not the prettiest shot in the world, but like we said, for today's purpose, we just want to get out of the bunker. So we address it again. We're down, we're wide. <laughs> That's two foot, that. <laughs> that actually is two foot, <laughs> after what he was saying. Stood on a pipe in a bunker. So last one, like we said, same again. This is the most important part, to be honest. This just creates everything for your swing. And that's maybe what, five foot. That was a bit cleaner, that one, but like we said, we're out, so we're laughing. That's the end of the, the little tip video. I hope it's helped. Would you say it's helped yourself? I think so. I mean, for someone who didn't really have a setup yeah. in a bunker, the only thing I ever thought about was just hitting an inch behind the ball. Yeah. There was no technique to it. It was just don't hit the ball, otherwise you're going to pin it. Yeah, either, it. either to the lip of the bunker or way over the back. So I think for now, it's just about practicing that time and time again and just making sure that, yeah, they might not be the prettiest shots in the world for me and my standard, but just getting out first time every yeah. time. As long as you're not taking that second shot inside the bunker still. Yeah. As long as you've either got 
maybe a little chip or a big putt, like yeah. it's better than being just in the sand, especially yeah. for a high handicapper. Just get out. So I'm glad they've helped. They have helped. Hopefully, Hopefully. they helped. I was just about to say Jeans that. Touch wood. Hopefully they help you guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you next week. Ciao for now.